The first thing I learned uh, as a head coach was that I was not ready to be a head coach. And I mean that. <laughs> I was in over my head. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, I came around and, and I, I was swimming for a while, but I think I, I kind of adapted very quickly and I put on a, a good face, but I was in over my head. Um, and uh, the players around me helped me and I asked them to help me because they knew I was uh, this was going to be a new experience for all of us. When I was a player I didn't necessarily want to be a coach. Um, with, with the early retirement I wanted to uh, see if this was an avenue that I wanted to take so ideally I, I have a couple years to to learn the trade and, and uh, really study and uh, see if this was for me but that wasn't my path so Okay, I would also love a challenge, and, and I saw a challenge in front of me, and I asked for the job. I wanted the job. I've been here for so long, and uh, I'm a romantic with the club. I love it. Uh, it's, it's a huge part of my life. If you have success, and you were part of those days where the fans remember, and, and, and those days where you, you hosted championships and, and celebrated with them, it does help. And, uh, I'm no idiot. That's part of why I'm still standing at this club. Um, it's part of why I was hired. Uh, it's part of maybe why uh, I, I wasn't let go last year. But I, I, I feel like uh, I'm still the guy for this job and, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to prove that with the help of my staff and, and these players that we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a positive year.